Hey guys, my name is Denny and this is EncoLit. So in honor of the Mental Illness Awareness Read Along, or the Mental Along by created by Lee Gay, by Book Like Lee Gay, I decided to pick up Cracked by K.M. Walton. Gina and I wanted to participate in this read-along because it sounded really interesting. Gina majored in psychology, so she would know a lot more about mental illnesses than I would. But I was very intrigued, and I really wanted to participate this week. Uh, I don't know how much time I had because of my full schedule, but I, I at least wanted to knock out one book, so I decided to pick up Cracked. Now, when you see Cracked, the cover, what do you, what do you think it's about? I thought it was going to be about drug abuse. But no, it's not about drug abuse whatsoever. When you read the synopsis, there's not really that much detail. It's just about two 16-year-old boys who end up in the same psychiatric ward. So you so you probably think they, they need to kind of come together and kind of work together to over, overcome some problems. But no, that's not it whatsoever. The two boys, Victor and Bull, Bull is Victor's bully. So they are both growing up in unloving households. Victor is growing up with, uh, with wealthy parents who make him feel invisible. He is unwanted, unloved. His parents are robotic, as he says. I mean, he, he, can never live up, he can never live up to their standards. Victor and his parents were supposed to go to Europe over the summer, but they left him behind because he did not get a perfect score on his SATs, and therefore he was a big disappointment. His mom is the kind of woman who believes that, cho that chocolate milk is like a poor person's dessert. Fried chicken is a poor person's meal. So yeah, she's very all high and mighty and snooty. I might be a little stuck up, but I will never be that bad. I love chocolate milk. I love fried chicken. And Bull, Bull is growing up in the slums with his alcoholic mother and his abusive grandfather. His grandpa beats the living crap out of him almost every day. So he's always he always has bruises on him on his arms and face, and he kind of grew up with the expectation that having people fear him will, will make it, will make it okay in life. So that's how he copes is by taking his pain out out on others, which is usually what bullies do. So I really like that this book tackles suicide, bullying, and abuse because Victor, um, when when something happens, I'm not going to. Uh, reveal any spoilers. Something major happens which makes him go go on to deep end and so he takes a whole bunch of pills. And his grandma is the one who finds them and he wakes up in the emergency room and then he is admitted into the psychiatric ward. And Bull, he didn't exactly try to commit suicide. He actually um, found a gun in his house that belonged to his uncle. Well, his grandpa was going on another rant and started to beat him, and so Bull turned the gun on him. Well, something happened, and so the gun was um, so the gun was pointed towards Bull's leg, and it shot him in the leg. And so he woke up in the emergency room, all bandaged up, not knowing how he got there. But the good thing that his grandpa does is that he tells the police that Bull was trying to commit suicide. Therefore, he is not going to go to juvenile hall because he tried to kill his grandpa. So that's the only good thing you will ever see out of his grandfather. So Victor and Bull end up in the same room because all the other rooms are filled, and of course drama is going to happen. They hate each other. They do not want to see each other. They just try to stay out of each other's way, and so yeah, a whole bunch of drama ensues. But a good thing during their stay at the psychiatric ward is they both have guardian angels watching over them. Victor meets a girl named Nicole, who is another patient, and she is kind of that spark that makes him want to live. She influences him to go on. She wants him to, she wants him to succeed. She tells him he is worth living for. And Bull, he meets a girl named Kel, who is another patient. You know, the kind of weird one, the very quiet one who's always in the corner, just always writing in a book? That's Kel. Kel has borderline personality disorder. But they kind of, but her and Bull kind of spark up, spark up a buddy relationship. Therefore, she is the need for Bull to continue to go on. She is the one who makes him want to fight to live. Victor's other guardian angel is his Nana. His, uh, Nana says that she's going to come and live with him. And she is his ally. She agrees that everything that Victor's parents have done to him has been shameful. And she is not going to stand it. She is going to speak up for him. And she, she said that she wasn't able to do it sooner. She didn't have the courage or the opportunity. But now she's going to do it. Um, despite what Victor's parents think. And in the epilogue, they end up going to therapy. He kind of starts to have a better relationship with his parents, thanks to his Nana. And Bull's other guardian angel is a man named Frank. Uh, Bull, Bull would go to the cemetery where he would just have, a, have his alone time, have his time to 
time to think, kind of just sort his life out. And Frank notices that Bull is a disturbed child, so he leaves little packed lunches for Bull when he goes to the cemetery. And while he was at the psychiatric ward, he was leaving, uh, he was leaving packed lunches for him again. But he also left a poem about how children need to be loved, and they are a hollow shell, and they and they shouldn't have to grow up in harsh conditions. They deserve all to be loved by the ones who should love them, not abuse and hurt. So in the epilogue for Bull, he doesn't end up going back to his apartment. He um, ends up staying with Frank, and Frank is basically the grandfather he never had. So yeah, that's correct by K.M. Walton. I really enjoyed this book. I will give this a probably give this a five out of five on Goodreads because I really enjoyed this. I would pick this up again in a heartbeat. As usual, links to everything will be down at the bottom along with the mental long info. Comment, tweet, you know the drill. So yeah, that's all I have for you right now. And until next time, bye.